This is a video about mic camera linkage with Shure Ceiling Mic. Based on Yeelinx MVC multi-camera solution, using a USB cable and a CAT5E cable to connect Shure system to the MVC system within the same LAN, the Yeelinx Shure Mic Cam linkage solution can be implemented after the two-part configuration. Setup on Shure Designer Step 1. Go to Settings. Refresh the Ethernet. Step 2. Go to Online Devices. Find the IP address of the microphone and remember it. You will need it in the later configuration. Step 3. Go to My Projects. Click the Coverage Map page to set the coverage area of the channels. Based on the position of the Shure microphone, Add or adjust the location and range of the channel coverage area. In this case, we set up a total of six microphone channels and adjusted them to cover the corresponding area. In this step, you need to pay attention to each channel and its sequence number so that you can properly bind the camera presets later. Step 4. Go to My Projects. Click MXA920 card in routing page to enter the internal IntelliMix page. First, cancel leave last mic on. Second, set up hold time value as 1500. And set up gating sensitivity. The more complex the sound environment of the room, the longer the hold time and the lower the gating sensitivity. Setup on Yelink Room Connect Step 1. Click AV Hub Card Go to Device Settings to turn on Standby Mode Step 2. Choose Camera Card A camera can set up to 9 preset positions. The presets are based on the camera deployment and the location of the participants. You need to adjust each preset position of the picture, including the participant's scale and angle in the picture. Step 2. Set presets for each camera. In addition, the camera can be set to presenter tracking to track a moving speaker. All you need to do is set one of the cameras individually to presenter tracking, and set the mode selection, trigger mode, effective tracking zone, and object viewing dimension you want to use in the later set of camera bindings. Step 3. Go to Multi-Camera Tracking Function. Select Shure Max 920 from the Solution Selection drop-down menu. Click Configuration to enter the IP of Shure device. Step 4. Bind Shure Microphones and MVC Cameras. Select the microphone channel to bind the same camera preset as the channel coverage area, a channel can only bind unique camera preset.
Step 5. Go to mic and camera settings to set call preset wait time and the time to return the default position. The recommended setting time is 3 seconds. Step 6. Set up camera layout. Choose a suitable screen layout and add cameras. Click finish. Go to camera control to adjust the camera direction and focal length. Here is the demonstration. Hello everyone, now we are going to demo the Earlink Shoe mic and camera linkage solution in action. As you can see, before we beginning, the image you can see at the far end is Earlink's multi-camera image, which can be set on the touch panel. When I start talking, the position information detected by the shoe microphone will be transmitted. The image will be focused and a close-up should would be given to me. The automatic tracking based on Yearlink multi-camera layout built with our partner Shure to target the participants who are speaking in real time and give them a focus. These solutions can be used in many kinds of meeting room scenarios, especially when you have multi speakers, such as the conference room, the training room, or the classroom. And also in this solution, as you can see now, uh, for our camera can not only track the fixed people, can not only track the fixed position, but also it can track the moving, moving presenter, just like now. It will use the, pre uh, the presenter tracking solution uh, and to, tra to follow my step just like that. The basic implementation of Yelling Sure microphone leakage is that the Sure microphone detects the location of the source audio and passes it to the Yelling camera to track the speakers. Add to that, this tracking is fast and accurate and you can set it up in the Yelling Room Connect application so that the rotation of the camera is not visible to the user of the far end. The layout would be changed to the default layout when there's a long time that no one's speaking. And this switching time can be set in the M-Touch panel.